I want you to imagine for a moment that you are relaxing on a beach. The waves are lapping on the shore. You have your favorite drink in hand and the rich sky blues and the ocean teals are inspiring, empowering, and uplifting. You breathe in the salty air. You feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. And in that moment, you know that anything is possible. That is the feeling that we tried to capture in this Chloe Charlotte pattern. It is all about the texture and the color. It has bobbles, it's got little shells, and it shifts through these beautiful aqua and blue tones. It really feels like waves on a beach caressing your spirit and reminding you that all is well. The great thing about this pattern is that it is for the adventurous beginner and I'm gonna show you in a moment just how easy it is to get started working this pattern. If you would love to follow along with me, you can download the written version of this pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and we will also put the direct link in the description for you. While you're there on the site, sign up for email updates because you're gonna get coupons, free patterns galore, and a whole lot more exclusive goodies that you won't find anywhere else. Here are three things to keep in mind when making this pattern. This shawl uses our cash silk sock yarn, which is a fingering weight yarn. It has cashmere in it, so it is very soft and buttery and draping and comes in a beautiful selection of our hand dyed colors and shades do come and go. We used our beloved blue hues for this shawl, but you can choose whatever colors are in stock. You definitely want to make sure and choose a yarn for this project that is draping and soft and has a nice texture, otherwise your shawl might end up being stiff and awkward. The size is super easy to adjust with this pattern because it is a repeating stitch sequence. We chose to make a smaller shawlette size, but even with this exact same yarn kit, you can actually make a much larger size. So you get to determine the exact size that you want your specific shawl to be. Color changes are really simple in this pattern. We went ultra simple for this one and just worked color A, stopped, cut it, color B, stopped, cut the tail, and then color C. You could make the whole thing in one color, Another option, which would be really fun, is to melt the colors together. To do that, you would just work color A for a short while and then alternate rows with A and B, A and B. And then you would just work color B. Then you would alternate colors B and C and then work color C. And that would just create more of a subtle transition. So it really just depends on what you feel like doing on that particular day for your particular shawl. Let's go ahead and get started working this shawl. We're gonna start by working a magic ring you're just gonna place the tail of your yarn across your fingers, grab the working yarn and wrap it up and over, creating a little X. Now take your hook and reach under, grab that yarn, and you are ready to get started working the stitches. Now we're going to work a chain three to begin, and then three double crochets into that magic ring. One, two, and three. Next, we're gonna work a chain one, and then four more double crochets all into that same magic ring. And then I'm gonna show you how neat it is when you pull on the tail. Three, four, make sure you have the correct number. Then you can cinch up that hole by pulling the tail of your yarn. And there you go. Now that we've worked the magic ring and that initial setup row, we're gonna move on to row number one. To work row one, you're going to turn your work and start with a chain three, which does count as a double crochet. Now, work a double crochet into that very first stitch. Now you're gonna work a double crochet into each of the next three double crochets. And we're working down one side of our shawl right now. We've now reached the center of our shawl, which is this little chain one. So in that chain one space, you're gonna work one double crochet, 
chain one, which is the center of your shawl, and one double crochet all into that chain one space. Now we're gonna work down the other side of our triangle by working one double crochet into each stitch going down. There's two and three. And this initial chain three here on the end does count as a double crochet and we're actually gonna work two double crochets into that. And I like to just work into the loop that it creates. It's just a little bit easier. You can also work into the top of the chain three if you prefer. So there you go. Now we're on to row number two, which is quite simple because it is mostly double crochets. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Row two, you're gonna turn your work and start with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And you're going to double crochet into that very first double crochet. And this is creating an increase, which is why our shawl is going to get bigger and bigger. Now, we're going to double crochet into each double crochet all the way across until we get to that center chain one space again. Very straightforward and simple. I love patterns like this. When you reach that center chain one space, we're going to work one double crochet into that chain one space, chain one, one double crochet. So this new chain one is keeping our center line very easy to see. Now we're gonna walk down the other side of our triangle and we're gonna keep it all symmetrical. So we're just simply again, working one double crochet into each double crochet until we get to the end of our row. I'm gonna work one more and when you get to that final chain three over here, you can work into the top chain or you can just work into the loop it creates and we're going to work two double crochets. Just always make sure your shawl is staying symmetrical and you have the same number of stitches on both sides and you can already see the triangle shape taking form. Rows three and four, you're just gonna repeat row two. Row five is a really fun row. We're gonna learn how to work bobbles in this row. So let's go ahead and do that. Row five is a really fun one. You're gonna start by turning your work and working a chain three, which does count as a double crochet. Okay, now you're gonna do a double crochet into this very first stitch here. Now we're going to work a bobble into the next double crochet. So how to work a bobble. You're gonna work basically five double crochets, not finishing them and pulling your hook through all six loops on your hook. Let me show you. Yarn over and insert into your next stitch and start to work a double crochet, but don't finish it. Start to work another double crochet, but don't finish that one. So we're increasing the number of loops we have on our hook. Continue along, there's another one. There's another one, and I'm going to do one more. So when you have six loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all of them and you've just created a cute little bobble. Now you're gonna work a single crochet into the next stitch. And this is super simple. You're just gonna repeat that across until you get to the center of your row. So let's work a bobble into the next stitch. Yarn over and start to work a double crochet into that next stitch, but again, don't finish it. Start to work a double crochet into the next stitch, but don't finish it. So you're essentially creating five double crochets that are unfinished, that you then close up and join them all together at the top, and it makes a fun little bobble, and these are just gonna pook out of your shawl and look super adorable. Now single crochet into the next double crochet, and continue repeating that across until you get to the center of your shawl. So let's work another bobble and I'll show you how that looks more in real time. Three, 
four, five. When you have six loops, yarn over and pull through all six loops. Then single crochet in the next stitch and just continue along. Now, when you come to the stitch right before your center chain one space, you're gonna work a double crochet into that stitch. Then in the center chain one space, you're gonna work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and in the next double crochet, you're gonna go ahead and work a double crochet into that, and then you're going to continue repeating what you did on this row, which is bobble, single crochet, bobble, single crochet, until you get to the end of your row. All right, when you get to the end of your row, you're gonna work two double crochets into that final chain three space, one, and two, and there is that super fun bobbly row. I love it so much. Row six is a repeat of row two, so you can see just how simple this pattern is. Now, you are gonna come to some shell stitches in the pattern, and I would love to show you what that looks like when you do come to that. When you do get to a shell stitch in your pattern, you're just simply going to work three double crochets all into the same stitch and it's gonna create a little cluster of stitches that looks like a little spreading shell. So that is how you get started with this beautiful Chloe shell. We hope that you enjoy it. Have a wonderful time crocheting your own version and remember that for this moment, this sparkling little dewdrop of a moment, that all is well. Thank you so much. I'm gonna see you next week with our newest pattern. Bye. You breathe in the salty air, Blah, 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 blah. Um, Good. Take one. <laughs> Good. Wow. Got way off. What was the title? <laughs> Color changes are super simple in this one. To imagine for a moment that you are relaxing on the sand at a beach. <laughs> Row six, sorry. Me. Oh, I'm just saying to say thing number one. Yeah. You said on a sand? On the sand. Oh, I thought you said on a sand. I was like, that would be <laughs> really challenging. <laughs> Bye. Ow, my triceps are sore. <laughs>